Hello and welcome to another video here at Megan Jane's Adventures. Uh, we are carrying on with our A to Z of animals and today is K and K is for kudu. I've had some experience working with kudus and stuff which I'm going to tell you about and I am also going to tell you a bit about what a kudu is and how you can tell it's a kudu and I hope you enjoy this video. Um, if you do, give us a like, leave us a comment and tell you tell us what you think and thanks for watching. So let me tell you a bit about kudus. What is a kudu? Kudus are medium sized antelopes found in Africa. There are two species of kudu, the greater kudu and the lesser kudu. The greater kudu are found in southern Africa whereas the lesser kudu are found in eastern Africa. Kudus are also called the antelopes of the forest as they spend the majority of their time amongst the trees feeding. Kudus can live between 7 to 8 years old in the wild, but can live to 23 in captivity. Kudus are herbivorous and feed on leaves, grasses and other vegetation, and in captivity their diet is supplemented with hay. During the rainy season, kudus will separate as food is plentiful, and during the dry seasons when food is sparse, herds will group together to feed. Now, what are some kudu characteristics? Well, kudus have large ears and a good sense of hearing. As a prey animal, they have eyes on the sides of their head and acute eyesight to spot predators. They have thin stripes along their bodies and male kudus have large horns, with the biggest males having two and a half twists in their horns. When I worked with kudus, well, I first worked with kudus when I completed a four week work experience period at Colchester Zoo on the giraffe section back in 2016. I learned a lot about caring for them and they were both male and female. One was called Cedric and one was called Kumu. I remember one day I was allowed to do some training with them and to reward them, we would feed them thinly sliced pieces of carrots. The kudus I worked with were very sweet, but you still had to be cautious when you were working with them. When I was in South Africa in 2015, I saw wild kudus for the first time, and even spotted one peeking out from behind a tree. I saw wild kudus again when I went to South Africa and stayed at Mpatha Reserve. This time I was able to help monitor the populations, and this meant I was able to count all the babies. So I had a great time seeing all of the animals in South Africa, and I love what I do being a zookeeper. And this is why I am doing this series of A to Z of animals, so you can get an insight into my experience working with them. So I hope you like this video, and for more, give us a like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Mm-hmm. <laughs>